Right, I think we're live, YouTube. I don't know if any of you, anybody's going to come in. I hope they do and have a chat as long as you're polite. I'm not worried. Uh, yeah, same here. Um, obviously, we're doing a live stream on the Jezebel spirit. As I was saying to John earlier, that phrase isn't in scripture. But I'm sure most Christians, KJV Bible believers, are familiar with the story of Jezebel. Um, yeah. And I called it that because some of the women who I've come across, I have been in a live stream with another, with two women on, on obviously only on two occasions. First one with Deborah Gill, that went really well. I enjoyed the conversation with her. Uh, and then I was doing another live stream some months ago, and Mega Daily was. Uh, not complaining, but she was going on about all oh, the downlingers keep coming to me channel and this, that, and the other, trolling me, making audible comments. I felt sorry for her or compassion, I suppose. I invited her into the stream so I could talk to her. It ended up as an eight hour live. <laughs> and I, I think the fight, the last five hours of that was like hell on earth for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want that video, if you want to check up and see if what I'm saying is true, and I'm not the only one who was in there, <laughs> right? Yeah. I called Amir. John was in that stream with me. I can't remember exactly how many hours. I think he popped in and out twice or something. Yeah, but um, I, saw, I saw quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. And that live stream, to me, was absolute hell on earth. I have never heard anything like it. To what? And I don't despise Mega Daily or hate her. I don't, uh, you know. Yeah, the link to that in a minute. I'm just posting John's PayPal account there. If anybody wants to contribute a couple of dollars or whatever later, this is a link to that YouTube video here. I'm going to put that in now. Go and see for yourself if you've got eight hours spare. <laughs> you're really depressed and you just want to make yourself feel even worse yeah now, my idea naively was to sort of try and encourage Mega Daily and blah blah you know that was a mistake and I knew that it you see previously from watching Brian Denlinger I do vividly remember seeing the first time that Brian, and I don't despise his wife, even in the slightest, right? But I thought that is the biggest mistake Brian ever made on his channel, was bringing his wife in, because I just, it turned it into a silly hour, really, on a couple of occasions. Yeah, I'm sure she had him dressing up as a you know, uh, oh, I can't remember who it was. If you go and have a look, if you remember some of the streams he did. But towards the end of that eight hour live stream, she was speaking, she was speaking on our behalf for us, or for me, or for me and the two other male Christians that were in there, in there Amir and some other guy, I can't remember his name. <coughs> oh, we don't trust you, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Now, during that stream, because I couldn't get a word in edgeways with a hammer and chisel, I had to mute her twice. She did, did yeah. not even know. She just carried chuntering on. I kicked her out <laughs> of the studio, I think, twice. She didn't even notice then. 
I, I genuinely believe that we've been unbelievably tolerant of displaying a certain amount of grace towards us. But when she started sort of speaking for me, supposedly, that was the last straw. It's all there in the video. This is the link there, it's on screen. Right. Uh, no, that, no, I mean, I'm sure John uh, uh, feels the same way. He doesn't need anybody to speak for him. Yeah. We, we, we're standing up for a brother in the law, that's fine. But if John wants to say something, he can say it himself. I don't Yeah. Him. I would never try and tell him what to say or not to say or any of that stuff. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to put up with people speaking, supposedly, for me, right, saying, I don't trust this. I, I, I trusted those two brothers. I still do. I've got no problem with them. Uh, and that was it. And then we carried on talking for an hour or two after she left. I can't remember the exact chronology of the whole video. It's eight hours long, you know, it's months ago. I commented to Mega Daily. I've got the transcript of exactly everything I said to her. I mean, Mega Daily actually was expecting an apology from me. That was never going to happen. And I don't think it was pride, as I said here to Deborah. I said, I hope you realise that my refusal to apologise to Dale is not one based on pride. It's it is the fact that she is not deserving of, of one. In that eight hour live stream, she was booted out twice and she was completely oblivious to it. Uh, and, and, I, and I go on a bit, I can, I, I can turn this into a PDF. Uh, I don't want to read all this out because it would be a bit boring. But I'm sure Deborah remembers it because I posted it quite a few times. Yeah, I trolled it a little, a little bit. But Linda Edmondson. Hello, Linda. Huh? I, I've got no reason towards you. But I, I don't, I've seen your comments on Watchman D's channel. Uh, you're calling him all sorts of stuff. That's up to you. But I just didn't think it was called the behaviour. I don't know. I don't. I know very little about Watchman D. I know that he had uh, the Shepherd's ambassador in there, and he got shredded. I was nearly embarrassed for him, but then I thought, <laughs> yeah, oh, somebody a liar. You go on a live stream with him, and I think Watchman D was very polite, actually. Very polite. Okay. Shepherd's ambassador got torn apart. Uh, he looked a fool. Sorry, what was he going to say, John? Uh, I was just going to say, I'm uh, right now currently downloading the transcript for uh, the eight-hour live stream, and I found one of the timestamps where she was like trying to get this uh, cannoli or something. That's the guy's name. To like Holy <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I had the time stamp where it's like she is like saying, oh, we'll give you a week or whatever. And he's like, what am I joining some club or something? <laughs> oh, that was a mess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. Linda Edmondson, some of the things that she has said about me are just utterly untrue. I hope I can share this screen without uh, it starting to go buffering on me. My laptop's rubbish, so if anybody wants to donate... <laughs> now, this is a comment that she made to the Bill ABC TV. Bob is bad about doing this. He has no use for women either. He said he didn't want any women to comment on his videos, and he said no women allowed on any of his videos because of Dale. Well, yeah, but it's twisted out of shape there a bit. I don't mind people commenting on my videos. What I'd said specifically was, 
I wasn't going to allow people, uh, females, into my live stream studio. And then she makes yeah. a comment. Sister Deb, how are you? Bob has no use for women either. He stated he did not want any women on his live streams. Well, that's close. That is, that's the truth of that. Right. Uh, I mean, there's a whole pile of stuff here. Oh, apparently I've got no right to complain about Linda Edmondson or anyone else. He's been in prison, so he's a criminal. All right, yeah. <laughs> Jason, I wouldn't worry about the Romans 10, 13 crowd. They hate the blood of Jesus. That's not true. And their so-called gospel will send them to hell. Bob and John has been poisoned by Brian Denlinger with a false gospel that will not save anyone. <laughs> women saved. I don't. I mean, this says two days ago. I don't know when she made this. Exactly. I I, I took the, I took the screenshots today, so it would have been two days ago. All oh, right. So that would have been Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby's doing a lot of people's videos, which is not right. He just wants to cause trouble, and he also said he didn't want any women to comment in his videos. Glad you're warning people about that guy. Well, I've noticed a lot of the Fenningerites doing exactly the same thing, doing a lot of people's videos. Well, then obviously she must mean Ed Fenninger's not right, Jason's not right, even Frank, King's Table. If you put your stuff out there on YouTube, and you call it saying things about people, expect somebody to do a video on it, especially the person you're referring to. Right. This habit of saying somebody's not saved because they're in disagreement with you, or because you don't like what they've said or something. Uh, I mean, what are women doing prattling on about doctrine anyway to, to male I mean, I don't know what, anything about watching the two, two men anyway. They shouldn't be doing so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, John, what do you think? I mean, you've read those comments. You've seen the context of them. Yeah. Well, I just think it's, you know... It's, it's just not a woman's place to just go and run her mouth like that. No. And I don't hate any of those women. I'm just not happy with them. But not that that matters to them, of course. Uh, it was the other one, Mary Miller. I don't know if I've seen her doing any nasty comments. I know Linda has, has an unfortunate habit of saying all sorts of nasty stuff about people including John Cragen and myself, obviously. I've got no problem with women. I don't know what they're trying to imply. And the fact that I've got a criminal record has got nothing to do with whether I'm saved or not, or whether I can... Hey, you, you've already repented of that. Yeah, years ago. Yeah. Well, and keep in yeah. mind, these, these are the same people who call you a lordship salvationist if we say that the salvation has a changed life. But then, but, then, but then they're judging our salvation based on our lives. It's like, okay. But I've never said anything, and I would never do so, against the blood of Jesus Christ. We are sanctified by his blood. His blood was poured out for us. His blood speaks to uh, speaks for us from the ground as Abel's blood did to God. Right? You cannot. There, there is no salvation without the blood because it's part of the atonement. That is what the whole yeah. picture is about. It well, is it's the blood that washes away. It's the blood that washes away your sins. Yeah. It's the, it's the blood that brought in, in the New Testament, according to Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15 and 18. Yeah, and the Bill of Ordinances against us was signed with what? 
by what? By the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The whole of the Bible is about the atonement. You women. Now, I don't object to somebody having an opinion, but back it up with facts. Show me a video clip of where I've said anything like that. I'm sure John would have got, would have, would have uh, you know, with all the videos and, and live streams I've done in the last year or two, I'm sure he would have noticed or heard me say something like that. I know he would have said something. He's got no problem with that. Right. Yeah. So, less of the lies. And Jason and he is another vile person lying about me. I mean, too, he, he did a live stream. He did a live stream attacking both of us. Yeah. And yet he, he did the exact same thing that Linda Edmondson is complaining that I'm doing. He downloaded a video of King's Table. I don't know how he worked it. But then he did a commentary on it, apparently, for me. Not <laughs> He's virtue signaling on other people's behalf. He's trying to bring King's Table into an argument. It's the same old trickery. I've seen all this, I've experienced all this trickery, type of trickery, before I even became a Christian. It all goes on in jail. Right, all the backbiting, backstabbing. He said this, she said, he said, he said this, and blah, blah, blah. It's all playground stuff. And since I became a Christian, it seems to have got worse. You know, I've had a lot of grief. I've had the, the, the Catholic, it's caused me a lot of problems, John. Uh, I do genuinely believe that they cost me time in prison. By some means, I just know that it caused a lot of problems for me, especially when I left, when I was at Wymott Jail. I bombed, I mean, I didn't know anything about the chick traps. I read them, obviously. But I bombarded that jail with chick traps, John. I bought at least, in fact, I was tempted the other way, a couple of months ago, to get in contact with the people who bought them off and get copies of invoices and stuff. I must have bought about two or three hundred of them, John. Our Catholic Christian and some of the others, you know. Left them all over yeah. the place. <coughs> and um, that caused problems for me. I'm not going to go into it. But... Oh, yeah. Is that the link to the images, John? Is it? Oh, uh, no, I, I shared a, a transcript I made of the uh, live stream with Mega Daily. Oh, right. Can I put it in the chat? In the I, I already did. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, now, another thing. I know we went on about it earlier, John. I know you did a video about it today. None of these Fenninger rights, and including Ed Fenninger, have done anything to expose Roman Catholicism. It's the biggest, evilest, most vilest, genocidal, paedophile organization on the pla on this flat or global earth. It's a cult. Keep out of them. Sorry, John. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, I'm saying it's, it's a cult, too, this Roman Catholic Church. It fits the definition of a cult. And, you know, these Fenningerites... It's like that, you know, they don't spend their time going after the Catholic Church and they won't even reprove Catholics who comment on their videos. Yeah. And I mean, how long does it take to make a video? I mean, it doesn't take Ed, Ed Penninger and Max Bauer and what they can just start a live stream or whatever it is. It doesn't take that much doing to find out stuff on Roman Catholicism. I mean, there are other cults out there that's Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, Buddhism, Hinduism. Yeah. Uh, oh, I mean, there's loads of them. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I, I've done videos on, on Islam and Hinduism and that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's like, it, it's plenty of information out there. There's tons of it, John. Absolute tons of it. Now, 
Oh, I don't like to talk like this, but I mean, on Twitter, I've got three or four Twitter accounts, three or four of them I can't log into anymore. In total, I, I didn't, I was going to count it up, but I, I couldn't be bothered, you know. But on one of my Twitter accounts, I've got 15,000 tweets. And the other two or three were in the 10,000s, easily. Just before, be, at least six months before Trump got elected, I was uh, tweeting about him being Jesuit trained. Um, Catholicism and their child abuse. I spent hundreds of hours doing that and I sort of gave up on it because, well, it didn't seem as always get anywhere, John. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. They just block you, you know. I mean, I've even had comments from Jesuits telling me to watch what I'm doing. I remember that, but very clearly one day I got this tweet from some Jesuit. I remember one time. Me. I remember one time I was tweeting some stuff about against the Jesuits. I actually had a Catholic comment and say that I'm I'm repeating Jewish propaganda and that kind of stuff, and sent me a bunch of links to like stuff disproving Jesuit you know control and that kind of stuff, and saying that you know the Jews are the ones running everything. It's you know I've had that happen to me too. They're not. They're being used as front men, John. Yeah. There are some Jews that, that what you what you would call, and I've got no problem with Jews. Of course I'm not. I mean Jesus Christ is Jewish. The what's called yeah. conversos. They had yeah. to the Inquisitions. The Jews had to survive. Since in the last two thousand years they've been sent from pillar to post and they've had to find ways of surviving. And especially through the Inquisition period from about well, I would say from the fourth century up to the present day. Especially during the Spanish Inquisition too. Yeah. Uh, and what a massive story. I used to study church history, John. But after a while, it sort of was get, beginning to get depressing because some of the stories that you read, and they're not stories, they're a historical fact, you know. It was getting a bit depressing, and it was making me angry. Yeah, I've read some of that stuff too, and like I had to stop too because, you know, it just makes me angry how, how the Catholics are just so murderous and bloodthirsty and everything. Yeah. And to get on to another subject, I mean, I mean, this is another point, actually. 20 of the Benninger rights do anything on the, well, I don't know what you said, the false Bible, so-called Bibles, the New Age versions, other than the King, uh, the King James Bible. Any other Bible is a New Age version. So they are literally, from what I've been reading, the Gary Ripplinger's book, of the devil, they're there for the NIV, NASB, NKJV are, for, are essentially brainwashing people, the ignorant, those without discernment, into the new age religion of Antichrist to worship. Oh, yeah, they the are age, the name of Jesus. Round they play about with the name of Jesus, they play about with the, the word like I was talking to you about it the other day, hell. Uh, oh, I mean, the damage that these, well, Madame Blavatsky seems to be the big main player behind the whole thing, and she was Catholic. None of them have tried to expose any of this, John. Exactly. It's, it's weird how, how you know, they'll, they'll go after Stephen Anderson, they'll go after... One sec. They go after Stephen Anderson, they go after, you know, Robert Breaker, they go after whoever. Uh, but they don't go after, you know, the real enemy, the Roman Catholic Church. No. I mean, I saw, I went to that guy, he was big commenting on about that video of uh, a post that uh, Chad. Uh, and that's okay. I had a reasonable sort of conversation with him. Um. But I thought, well, I'll go to his channel and have a look at some of his videos. What is, and I noticed it's one of Jason's comments on there. He obviously blocked me, so I had to change a YouTube to a different YouTube account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, you can read it or screencast it. He's on about phoning Robert Brake. He, he, he was binging. I said, I showed you a clip of it. Um, yeah, I saw. Over Robert Brake. Uh, 
saying he's not saved and Jason saying, oh, I'm going to phone Robert Breaker. Well, he didn't say the full name, but I'm going to, it's obvious from the context of what he said. I've still got the click, Jason. You're going to phone Robert Breaker for peace of mind. Do you know what I thought? I thought, what are you phoning him for your peace of mind for? When apparently you've got faith in Jesus Christ. Have you no peace of mind from studying the studying of God's word? You know, meditating on God's word. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, major know. problems there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he talked to me if he wants to phone for me and have a chat and sort of, you know. But I know Robert Blake is a false teacher. He's a date setter. As soon as I found that out, I mean, I just stayed away from him and I did e email him once. And he changed the subject. He made it sound like it, it, it made a non sequitur response. I asked him about one specific thing and he answered it as though I was asking him something something else you know so obviously he can't be trusted even with words but these women have got to yes i acknowledge that they've got a right to say what they want when it comes to doctrine correcting somebody doctrinally um go and speak to your husband first and ask your husband to do it or a pastor so-called pastor but Linda wasn't even going on about doctrine, John. She was just calling this this Watchman D guy all sorts of names. I mean, from what I heard, a Watchman D is a likable sort of person, you know. So yeah. He, well, I mean, you know, he he's still a, he's still a heretic. He's still lost. I mean, he believes in work salvation. He believes in baptismal regeneration. But in the debate with Tony, he totally destroyed Tony in the Trinity debate, and they just can't handle that. Yeah. And the fact that Tony lied about him, because Tony didn't yeah. didn't, didn't deny it. Yeah, like kind of like how Tony lied about me too. Yeah, and he made some snide comment about you as well, didn't he? What did he What did he say about you, John? What was the lie he's come out with? Well, it's like he, he tried to like he tried to like like say that I'm like promoting eugenics or something. He tried to like lump me in with people who promote eugenics. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I that. I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like just the, the, the lies I tell is crazy. Yeah, but they'll twist out of shape what he said. I mean, I said to him, he he was sucked in. I can't remember the exact words he used. He was sucked in by a, a Filipino scam, these Bible courses. I've seen them around on the internet, you know. Uh, various other groups that do it they charge you five dollars a certificate or something or other. you know you do the course and then you if you want the certificate you've got to send them fifty dollars and then he turned it into some sort of racist issue i wasn't going on about filipinos it could have been a german scam or or a dutch scam or or, or one from i don't know anywhere india or something it wouldn't yeah. have mattered to me point is i actually believed he was getting scammed and the minute and as i mentioned to you earlier today i think or was it the other day that pa220 patootie tooty i call it all the people <laughs> and apart from one in that thing uh there were all women. There was about eight or nine women in the leadership thingy, John. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, women. Women are not supposed to be in that kind of leadership position now. Well, I, th I think they were so-called pastors or something. Woman, woman pastor is an oxymoron. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got no problem with Deborah Girl, but I mean. She even came very close just after that eight hour live stream, John, to saying I wasn't saved. Wow. Very close. <laughs> she was in mixed with the other women. Linda Linda Edmondson, of course, she was in there. Deborah Girl. Uh was it Mary? Mary Miller. 
and Nick. They all got into yeah. a, a straw holy huddle. <laughs> oh, that fuck. Oh, that man. Oh, 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 oh. You know, and then all this. I thought, oh, I mean, after that, John, even Jesus, <laughs> even, and I hate to say this, even God could not make me allow a female Christian into a live stream with me. I will uh, die first. I will die first. I was trying to display a bit of grace, John. I didn't want to be unsymp unsympathetic towards Mega Daily. I know she'd have some grief of those Denlingers and Bulls Bailey or whatever his name is, you know. <laughs> yeah. And even her husband, the one she's got now, Nathan French. He said I need another brain or something. Or <laughs> but she was married to guess who, John? Philip Newton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's it's just funny. I mean, I mean, and, and you know, Philip Newton is just you know he the guy creeps me out. It's funny. I was actually reading in the comments of a uh, uh, JT's video he did about me, uh, where he was like sending me, sending me back the one dollar I sent him, and like Philip Newton, Philip Newton, like Philip Newton was in the comments, and you know, just that was funny. He quote he quoted the like, what was that verse he quoted? He uh, let me try to find it. It was, it was kind of funny because Brian was also in the comments of that video, and he just commented "unbelievable" or "unreal" or something like that. Because, like you know, he saw the videos he did. You know, Brian Dillinger's Catholic cult, Brian Dillinger cult leader exposed, and everything. And he was just like unreal, you know. That you know, he's turned against me too. Yeah. Yeah, he quote he quoted uh, Matthew fifteen fourteen, which is "Let them alone; they be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch." So in other words, Philip Newton is saying I'm lost because I spoke against Brian Dunlinger. So, you know, typical of him. Who are you leading? Who are you leading? I mean, yeah, <laughs> who am I leading? It's like I don't have any followers. Yeah, but I mean, Jacob. I know I've mentioned this before. Thirteenth. About giving a dollar back. Oh dear. I nearly sent him a dollar, John. You know, anyway. Yeah. It, it's just funny. I, it's like, it's one dollar. He has to do like a 13 minute video, like whining about giving me a dollar back. It's just it's funny. Yeah. No, really. I mean, I mean, the, supposed to send him the dollar back. Send it, giving him his dollar so he, he didn't feel any massive loss. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, the guy is so pro the guy is just so filled with pride. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and he's still having a go at Tim. He knows perfectly well that Tim's saved. Yeah. How many times has Jacob been in a live stream with Tim, John? You know. Yeah, it's like don't don't tell me you can be in a live stream with them, talk to them, know their testimony, and then say they're on their way to hell. You know, I don't think so. J JT is just you know he's just his, again his pride got hurt and he didn't like that. And I think there was a bit of infighting there. I think Jacob wanted to be the uh, the second in command rather than like one of a group of three or four that was in the inner circle with Brian. He wanted to be the main player. Yeah. It's funny, Jake, uh, last year's Mays got booted. Tim got booted. Jeremy got booted. Who's left? Just JT does. Yeah. Will anybody that's, that's that? like... That the, the the one that has like direct contact to Brian over Skype or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Will any will anybody ever reach those dizzy heights of being in a live stream with Brian? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Brian. I remember you did that. I remember you did that one video where you're like, you know, you cross out Tim, like Tim's gone, you know, yeah. uh, Jake Mays is gone, you cross them out, because it's true, actually, you know? Yeah, I still got that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I use that as a sort of scoreboard, really, but... Yeah. That book was never edited by Brian, you know that, John? 
Yeah. And the books, from what I can see, has all kinds of grammar errors in it. Yeah. Yeah. You see, we, me and John aren't about, oh, having to go to Fenninger Rights or the Denlinger Rights or people who are lying because I think we're both sick of it. Yeah. And we want the truth, you know. Oh, I can't tell you what I said when I got saved that day because I couldn't repeat it. I wouldn't want to repeat it. It wasn't very pleasant because I wasn't a nice person. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, before I got saved, I was a lost help on atheist. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, John, that a 19-year-old as yourself is a King James Bible believer. I would challenge anybody who's listening to this, see if we can draw up a big list of male or female, 18 to 19 year olds, or let's say 16 to 20 year olds who are King James Bible believing Christians. King James Version, not, not any of the others, just King James Version. I think you might find about four or five Maybe 10 if you're lucky. Uh, oh, no. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah. If, 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 if they're there. Yeah, you probably would only find just a very few amount. Yeah, you're not going to find many, John. Especially with the education system. You, I don't know what it's like in Canada. You do. I don't, I mean, I haven't been in the education system in this country in 40 years or so. Well, the education system is just indoctrination into, you know, atheism, feminism, uh, mm -hmm. you know, liberalism and everything. Yeah. And council culture and... Uh, you know, SJW type stuff, and you know, just ridiculous. Yeah. Sodomy and, you know, sodomites and, yeah. Yeah, even the British Army's gone gay. Sodomites. Yeah. Well, over in America, Joe Biden uh, signed, like, reversed uh, this this ban on on transgenders in the military that was, that Trump put in place, and yeah. is now making it to where now taxpayers have to pay for a soldier who wants to get transgender surgery or something like that. Like, the Pentagon will pay for it, and they're taking taxpayer money for that. The Chinese must be laughing, John. Yeah, I saw an article from the Chinese. They actually are trying to make their guys more manly. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's trying to turn. <laughs> It's funny, Joe Biden's trying to turn the American military into just, he's trying to feminize them. Meanwhile, over in China, they're trying to make them more manly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's a key word there, John, that you use, trying to feminize them. It's turn, trying to turn them into sort of mobile baphomet. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because like Joe Biden, he's supposedly this experienced politician. How come he doesn't realize that, according to the Constitution, serving in the military is not actually a civil right? Okay, there there are certain requirements you have to have, and if, if a certain condition you have, you know, hinders that, like if you have a certain disability and that hinders that, they can refuse you because of that disability. So, yeah. you know, he seems he fails to realize that, you know, that it's not a civil right to serve in the military. It, there are certain requirements you must have, regardless yeah. regardless of what disability you have. Yeah. I got in the army, John. I was fit with a butcher's dog, me. I did military prison as well. Yeah. Just, uh, I'll come out of there, I couldn't stop moving, John. I'd do a 10 mile run with, with my kit on. I wouldn't even be breathing heavy. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I also wrote a blog post earlier today about how Planned Parenthood is actually trying to uh, chemically castrate adolescent males and try to turn them into essentially transgenders. I'll link the article. Yeah. Yeah. Planned Parenthood was started by Margaret Sanger, and she was a Catholic. Yeah, I heard about that. Now, abortion in the USA, and I know it's a similar over here. I don't know if it's as many num numbers are as big, but there's been 50 million abortions and counting in the USA since it got started. But it got the person who brought uh, abortion to be legalized in the USA was a Jesuit called Robert Drynan. Oh, I and, and here's here's a, here's here's the best part too. 
Here's the best part too. The Supreme. Here's the, actually the best part. This is why you know I, I'm not like you know a big Republican or whatever because the Supreme Court that legalized abortion was actually Republican majority Supreme Court. So that's a step on someone's toes. But that abortion, I don't know if it's going on in every country in the world. I should think it probably is. I see. Well, Joe Biden wants it to. Joe Biden trying to fund it. In other, Joe Biden reversed a Trump. Uh, Trump put a ban on funding abortion overseas, which is something I would agree with. And Joe Biden reversed that, and he's now making it so that where the U.S. now is like basically under Obama. Same thing was under Obama. They're paying for abortions overseas. Yeah, but I see the Inquisition, uh, the 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 abortion in the USA and over here as a Jesuit Inquisition because it's not Catholics that are going to be getting abortions most of the time. It's all yeah. The, people outside of catholicism that will do that and or also just liberal ca also just liberal catholics too who they want to get rid of anyway yeah oh there's no problem with that yeah um, and you could even call world war ii an inquisition i mean look at the hypocrisy of it john i mean during world war ii there was more than one holocaust so there's, there were jewish holocausts Right, which I'm not going to get into, but there was at least two others. There was Stalin's Holocaust, yeah, right, yeah. and uh, Churchill's Holocaust. The yeah, he, he, he was he was wicked too. Carpet bombing of Germany, Dresden, and then there was the Holocaust of because a lot of German soldiers returning to Germany were put in concentration camps, John, and basically starved to death. Yeah, well, the Soviets came in and, you know, caused all problems, too. I mean, that's the thing, too. You, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the thing, too, is that a lot of times the Allies did, did, were kind of just, just as wicked as the Nazis in some areas. Like, they did, a lot of, they did a lot of wicked stuff, too. But the thing is, the hypocrisy of it is, I've seen photographs of Churchill, Stalin, and Roosevelt sat together, like peas in a pod with a with the hand tucked in the jacket, hiding the hand, you know, the hidden hand, like best mates or smoking a cigar or whatever. Stalin is responsible for at least twenty million deaths. Yeah, uh, more than twice as almost twice as many as, or more than twice as many as what Hitler was responsible for. And that's what we know about. I think. Yeah, there could there could have been even more. Who knows? Yeah, and, and not just under Stalin, just the Soviet Union as a whole. You know, hundreds of millions are just under the Soviet Union in total from its yeah. from its entire existence. And Madeleine Albright, oh, we think fifty thousand dead women and children were worth it in Afghanistan. You know, when they had the uh, the Mujahideen and all that other stuff and the, the fighting the Soviets and everything. A bit like um. Oh, not a blockade. Embargo thingy. Um, oh, I can't remember what the proper name for it was. But they stopped all you know, the trade there, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, well, they wanted to make Afghanistan, you know, part of part of the Soviet Union. And then there was, of course, the, the Muslim uh, Mujahideen, which is like a militia kind of fighting against the Soviet Union. Uh, there was that, which is how the Taliban, how Al-Qaeda were started and everything. And, you know. The CIA started Al-Qaeda. Yeah, <laughs> but if you check this film out, you could. I'll get the link if somebody asks me in the comments at the end of this video. I'll get it, I'll find the video for you. It's called Hellstorm, worth watching. But yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. But that's the thing, too. A lot of these like Islamic terrorist groups, like Al Qaeda, uh, Daesh, which is basically ISIS, uh, some of these other guys, a lot of them are just entities of Hillary, of, not Hillary Clinton, a lot of them are just entities of America and the CIA, pretty much. Well, that guy who was the Iraqi leader, he worked for the CIA, didn't he, uh, Saddam? Yeah, well, there was also Osama bin Laden, who apparently I heard was actually brought to the White House at one point. Yeah, well, they're a big banking uh, construction family thing. His family were actually living in New York, and they were flown out to wherever. Yeah. And also Osama bin Laden, he hate, he hate, he also hated the Jews too. He didn't he didn't like Jews. Yeah. Oh, somebody else mentioned about uh, 
so-called pope going to Iraq. Yeah, I did a video on that, I think. Yeah. But Roman Catholicism started Islam. Yeah. And this started... Yeah, it, it, it's actually it's interesting because these Islamic terrorist groups like, like the Islamic State and whatever and uh, Al-Qaeda, funny, they'll make threats against the Vatican, but they'll never actually like attempt to attack the Vatican, which is, you know, just... You know, they, they wouldn't they wouldn't they wouldn't try no they wouldn't get there they wouldn't get there i mean i mean and, and you know what i've said sometimes what could they could be working for the vatican either way you know they're not gonna they'll, they'll they'll make all these threats towards the vatican and we're gonna attack rome we're gonna attack rome on christmas or whatever they never do you know it's kind of I interesting vatican, i believe because of what they've got in the library what i think they might have they've got the dirt on muhammad yeah and the document they got they probably got information on him that like no one else knows yeah and they could probably prove it as well because it would be ancient documents and stuff like that they know. yeah yeah well of course you know muhammad was uh uh influenced by augustinian catholic monks you know islam was essentially started by augustinian monks yeah no wonder muhammad was a pedophile yeah, uh, no kidding. Yeah, because you know, and of course, I've always said the Catholics they get their pedophilia from the Greek pagans, the Roman pagans. They're just carrying on that tradition of the Greek and Roman pagans. Out of the Ro I mean, Rome, did, the Roman Empire didn't go away; it just changed its clothes and its name. And yeah, it the Roman Empire it, exactly. It never went away. It just simply reemerged as a religious empire. Yeah. Uh, but back to the uh, subject. <laughs> I was just gonna say I was just gonna make one last final thought. You know how I remember Eric Phelps. He said, you know that you know when the when the Roman when the Roman Empire supposedly fell, it just simply reemerged as the Roman Catholic Church. And of course, you know the the uh, Roman Senate became the College of Cardinals. The uh, the Emperor became the Pope. Uh, office of the Office of Emperor became the Office of the Pope. You know the statues of, uh, of Venus and Jupiter became the statue became the statues of Mary and Peter. You know the 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 gods became all the saints and everything. It was just simply repackaged Roman Empire. He still got the same title as the Roman Emperor, John. I mean, if you go on Twitter, you'll see that his uh, Twitter name is Pontifex. Yeah, which is a Roman title. Yeah. And, and I'll have to mention the fact how it was called at one point the Holy Roman Empire at one point. Like, you know, you can't get any like blatant than that. Yeah. And there's nothing holy about and there's certainly nothing holy. I mean, it's a Jezebel religion, a bit like these women that we're having to contend with at the moment. <laughs> yeah, there were women that are attacking us and calling us all kinds of names and saying we're lost and we're, we're heretics and everything. Yeah. Oh. My faith is stronger than they think. They can say what they want about me. My faith is in Jesus Christ. Based on god's word based on what jesus christ has done for me on the cross a completed work right yeah heard it all exactly all before, heard it all before and i'm frankly you know i know i'm not perfect i have been a little bit rough in speech well not speech exactly with emails because i was angry you know but that i'm not trying to excuse that it was wrong I knew that I should have what I should have done is just leave it and wait, which is my normal thingy. I usually would do that. Uh, but anyway, you women, I don't mind you commenting on my videos, I don't think. But if you start all nastiness, you're just going to be blocked. And I'm too lazy to even bother blocking you if you do get blocked. I have not blocked any women from my channel. Right. Um, I did unblock one person today. I hadn't. I'd, I'd forgotten that I had blocked him because of the way he was talking to me. Um, but I unblocked him. There's a, there's about three or four others that are blocked because of the nature of the doctrine they're coming out with, or just the way they're behaving. You know. Yeah. I might unblock them again and see what happens. You know screencast the nastiness it's got to stop really because this is not glorifying to the lord jesus christ if you truly want to glorify the lord jesus christ 
as I'm sure John does, I certainly do. Then you've got to stop all it because people who are not saved, atheists and Muslims, they, if they come across all this argument and debate stuff, they're seeing that. And they will not be interested in Jesus Christ. They'll think, oh no, I don't want to get involved in that mess or something like that, you know. How did you feel when you was an atheist, John, and you saw all these Christians arguing and when I was an atheist, I just kind of, when I was an atheist, I was just thinking like, yeah, you know, they're just, you know, I mean, when, when I would see someone, I'd say, oh, look at, look at, you know, there's Christians fighting with each other. They can't agree with each other. You know, I, it, for me, it was just, for me, it was just kind of enter, entertainment almost. It was just entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. But it obviously wasn't edifying. No, it wasn't. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even watch it just to have some entertainment. Yeah. And then you'd dive in and make and say something and whatever, wouldn't you, John? Yeah, I would say something like, you know, this is fun, you know, some good entertainment or whatever. Yeah. Did you just post that in there then, John? Yeah, I just posted that there. Oh, yeah, about transgenderism. It's basically teaching them about how to become literal Baphomet. Essentially, I guess Baphomet was the transgender devil essentially yeah transvestite demon uh, i mean you've got five-year-olds wanting uh, sex changes or they want to dress like a girl when they go to school yeah it's crazy i mean i mean that's what the bible says to train up a child they got the heel not the part for me let me try to find that verse Uh, it is yeah, Proverbs twenty two six. Train up a child in the way that in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Exactly. Yeah, what they're doing, but they're just training them the evil back from that stuff. Yeah. And and and, and then when you say, "Hey, I don't want my kids," you know, being taught about sex and gender when they're five years old. Oh, you're you're transphobic. You're this. You're that. You know. Oh, I had somebody commenting on on my video or. To, uh, or on a comment I made in Ed Fenninger's or somebody's channel, I can't remember. So I said to them, because she had a free, the user had a female username. So I made some reference, I made some comment to her and I said, look, you're a woman, go and talk to your husband. And then she said, or the person said, oh, you don't know whether I'm a woman or not. Well, obviously I don't, but I could only go by a username. But it's almost as though a lot of these women are trying to be or behave like men. As though they think they're equal or the same or even better than it. And, and if you don't accept them as men, if you don't think women are men, you're misogynistic then. You know what I mean? That's just well, if you don't how, they, think, how they do. They're not equal to men. Yeah, it's got to the point where they want to be equal to men, so now they, they want to be men now, pretty much. So now men decide, oh, I'm a woman now, I'm going to go join in your sport, and I'm just going to thrash the lot of you. And that's what they get. Exactly. Uh, and, 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 and Joe Biden wants that to be funded by your tax money. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it's funny because Joe Biden supposedly is devout Catholic. I showed in my blog post that even the Catholic Church condemns, uh, you know, transgenderism and that kind of stuff. So he's he's going against his own church in this area. Well, Biden is Jesuit trained. Yeah, I don't know if it was Georgetown or Fordham or some other. I mean, you've got some big YouTube channels that are run by, by Jesuits. I mean, there's, have you heard of Geronism? He does Flat oh. Earth Geronism. Never heard of that. He's Jesuit, because I asked him. I asked him what university he went to. All right. There's another guy, there's another guy called Math Powell. He does a massive channel on, on Flat Earth. He's another Jesuit. He went to Xavier University. Who? Who was that again? Math, pa Math Powell. 
Matthew, Matt, I think I might know who you're talking about. Is he the guy that makes lots of videos on atheism and stuff? Uh, I don't know. He's an, some sort of artist. Oh. Uh, oh, I can't remember. It's a couple of years since I... I mean, I just got away from... There were some in, interesting stuff on Flat Earth on YouTube. But as I said to somebody, I can't remember who it was. As soon as you put get money into there was there's a lot of money to be made in it, John. Exactly. Some of them making thousands a week. Uh, who's this? Who's this other woman? And all there's a woman. Oh, I can't remember. Mm. Anyway, yeah, no woman will ever be in a live stream studio with me. If you want to comment on my channel, just make sure it's polite. Oh, yeah, I did a blog post about this one, too, uh, about how there is a male, you know, transgender who apparently won the female beauty pageant in Nevada. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah, I'll link that one too. I wrote a blog post about that. I'll link that one too. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just totally trying to destroy. I mean, this is Biden's America, just destroying any distinction, just any kind of, you know, sense of right and wrong. It's crazy. Biden, the hair sniffing pedophile. <laughs> yeah. You know they call they they call him Sleepy Joe Biden. I call him Creepy Joe Biden. Yeah. So Ed Fanning, a big supporter of Trump. Yeah, he wears Trump, Trump T-shirts and everything. Completely ignores the fact that Trump is Jesuit trained. It's actually funny because about a year ago, Ed Fanning did these three videos attacking me because I said that we shouldn't be praying for a wicked nation like America. And we shouldn't be praying for you know. Uh, or we shouldn't be supporting Donald Trump, and he if he was attacking me, saying I'm a, I'm a traitor, and I, you know, I, I, you know, I would, I would betray my nation and that kind of stuff. It's like, okay, you're not even American, John, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not even Americans. Like, why do I care? Yeah. But it, it's just funny how he, it's just funny how he's like he's like so into this like patriotism stuff. It's like. Um, doesn't the Bible say to set your affection on things above, not things on earth? I'm going to find that verse too. Yeah. Yeah. It's Colossians 3 2 or something. I think it's Colossians 3 2. Yeah. Colossians 3. Yeah, it's Colossians 3 2. Set your affection on things above, not things on earth. Yeah, yeah. you know, I could, care, I could care less what happens in my country. I'm setting my things, affection on things above. Yeah, and another thing, John, these women that make all these comments, if you look at their channel, they might, none of them have got any videos that they've actually done. They're not trying to start a women's sort of Christian sort of type channel for women only. I wouldn't particularly object to it. There's no way I'd go in. I would join in on it because I just couldn't stomach it. I couldn't put up with all the uh, feathers, fur balls and hair next, John. Uh -huh. See, that's the trouble with women. They have a very emotional sort of response to God's word. That, that's that's the thing, too. Is they're, they're guided by their emotions. Yeah. And you more and, and emotion tell you nothing right. about God. And, and that's the thing, too. That's why they have to have a man over them, because, you know, they can be they can be easily deceived and duped into doing stuff by their emotions. Yeah. Make a daily, by the way, I'm just going to remind you women, she is never going to get an apology from me. It won't happen. It will not happen. Yeah, male transgender wins female beauty pageant in Nevada. Yeah. Yeah, that's my blog post about that. It's yeah. funny because a lot of the comments it's funny because a lot of the what male transgender it's not oxymoron there as well isn't it male transgender women what female 
it, it's 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 someone who basically was was a male but then turned to a female or something. I think that's how the whole thing. I don't know how the whole thing works. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to, John. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. I mean, what's what's that verse? Uh, I think it's Ephesians chapter five, verse twelve. Yeah, it says it, it says Ephesians five twelve. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done to them in secret. So I don't want to know. <laughs> no. Uh, so I can see that there's two people watching. I haven't got any YouTube tabs open. I, I'm I, mean, I, I have my tab open. I'm the one. I could be the first one. I could be the second one watching. All right. Well, whoever the other one is, then. You want to come in and ask a question? Not that I know everything or anything. You're more than welcome. Check these links out that John has been good enough to put in there. And. Uh, I'm not trying to pester anybody to do anything they don't want to do or, or whatever. But I'm going to put a link in here to John's PayPal. Even if we only donate 50 cents or whatever it is, if I can get 50 or 60 people to do that, that's enough to get a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it should be enough, yeah. I've donated to him. I'm not going to tell you what, but not much. It all helps. Yeah, it's getting myself a glass of water. We're right back. Yeah, I've got to encourage these young Christians in the Lord because it's so important because they're the ones who can witness to young people. They can get the message out to young people who are being blameless. They're getting their heads filled with lies. They're going around just being abusive towards uh, a young Christian. That's not on. No, no, no. I mean, if we're saying something wrong or whatever, then obviously you should point it out politely. Don't start casting them out as being unsafe and all that stuff. Because that's just childish. Nobody's got a holy eraser for the Lamb's Book of Life. You haven't got the Lamb's Book of Life in your sock drawer, have you? Anyway, yeah, you Jezebels, essentially you need to keep your opinions to yourself and get the facts straight, stop lying about people, stop twisting what people say, go and check out that eight hour live stream that I was in. A diabolical thing that turned out to be. You see, you're not interested in truth, are you? You're not interested at all. And I don't care what you say to Megan Daly about what I've said tonight. I won't be going to a channel to find out. If she's still got one there, I don't even know. I actually have sympathy for Phil Newton. I really do.
You people are so quick to cast people out as unsaved, aren't you? Hey. No, I'm not whinging. You say what you want, but you're not affecting me. I'm not used to what you're saying or ignorant or anything. I don't know everything. Are you okay then, John? You all right? Yeah, sorry. It's... Water went down my windpipe. Uh, uh. Right, I can't think of much else. Uh, can you, anything else you want to bring up, John? Uh, not that I can think of. It's starting to get eye strain now, so I should probably uh, get off anyway. Yeah, see if we can get some of those glasses. Yeah, once once I get once I get some, uh, what was it? I oh, lost my train of thought now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to wreck my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Right then, it's half past eleven at night here. It must be about half past five where you are, is it? It's uh six thirty one p.m. where I am. Uh, sorry, yeah, six thirty. Yeah. Oh, uh, if we could, uh, quit. Go ahead. Have you had a look at bookshops in Ontario? Do you get, do you get a chance to? I mean, I've had a look at pictures of Ontario. It looks really smart there, like a really smart-looking city. Have you been all around that? Have you? Uh it's a. Uh, I live kind of more in a further area, but it it is pretty decent. I will give, I will give it that. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Anyway, John, I don't want to keep it any longer. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, I would, I, it, once I, once I get the glasses, I might be able to go longer. Just my eyes are just hurting. Yeah. What sort of glasses do they? What do they block ultraviolet, or is it just? Uh, I, I think the blue, blue light glasses. I think it just protects your eyes from the blue light emitted from the screens, and it prevents eye strain, stops the you know headaches you get and everything. Uh, so I definitely want to get some of those. Right. Because it's like I'm too young to be having eye problems, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I've only just started using reading glasses in the last. Uh, oh, let me think. Fifteen? No, oh, maybe twenty years. Yeah, my my uh, eye doctor I saw about a year ago. He actually said that my eyes are pretty healthy, and I probably won't need glasses for a long time. But it's like. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm surprised. I, I'm actually surprised I don't need glasses, quite frankly, because I I want the computer quite a lot. So I'm actually kind of surprised. But if you damage your eyes now, it'll only get worse. Yeah. So, yeah. So I I definitely want to get some of those those blue light glasses. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we could we could do a stream some other time. So. Yeah. Any time of day, John. If you email me. Yeah. Uh, you, I mean, you don't actually need me in a live stream with you every time, anyway. I I enjoy our fellowship. It's really nice. Oh no, I know. I'm just saying. Um, anytime I'm going to do a live stream and you want me to pop in, just email me. I'll be straight there. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay, sure. Day. Doesn't matter what time of day or night. Cool. Oh no, well. Uh, I'm going to head out my eyes. It's really hard to me now. So, yeah. Uh, great fellowship. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you.